so inside mock test 9 so first question is uh, consider the following statements about the forex for index forex reserves so here you be forex reserves for uh, first is forex reserves uh, forex exchange reserves of india uh, are guys holdings of cash bank deposits bonds and other financial assets that denominated in currencies other than india's national currency so uh, one is correct so here you for uh, RBI holding cash bank deposit bonds and other financial assets denominated in current uh, in currencies other than india's national currency rbi can trade uh, trade india's forex reserves in the market to cut down the fluctuation of indian currency in the international market so rbi trade uh, trade india's forex reserves in the market to cut down the fluctuation of india's currency in the international market and third is so second is correct the third is the forex reserves <coughs> the forex reserves help india maintain maintain liquidity in case of balance of payment crisis so forex reserves the forex reserves uh, help can help india uh, maintain liquidity in case of balance of payment, payment crisis so both are correct so one two and three are correct four is not correct rbi incurs or uh, no opportunity cost in maintaining or expanding expanding the forex reserves it's not correct so opportunity yes I have yes, uh, opportunity I have but not here you gave not a no opportunity but it is not correct so one two and three are correct the forex reserves l3 the, the forex reserves help india maintain liquidity in case of balance payment crisis so one two and three correct so it's a uh, india's forex reserves in 2017 are mainly composed of US dollar in the forms of US government bonds and international bonds with, with nearly 5% forex reserves in gold. The FCA also include investment in US treasury bonds, bonds or other selected go go government and deposit deposits with security, with uh, and deposits with foreign central and commercial banks. Second is we have covered this con concept earlier. Second, RBI trade India's forex reserves in the market to cut down the fluctuation of India's currency in the international market. Three, often there is a tendency to keep forex reserves to equal to the value of six months of imports. It's correct. But on the other hand, so if we take current account deficit, it is 7.5% of GDP, current account deficit and uh, which is extremely high and then there is a need to be need of about USD 8 for 85 billion uh, forex exchange reserve the actual reserves uh, are 400 billion then there is a need of about 85 billion but the actual reserves are 400 USD billion For the so India holds close to 4, 400 billion to uh, forex reserves. Experts say that it, uh, if instead of maintaining large forex reserves, the fund are used to finance, say, infrastructure projects, the returns will be much higher. So, the accumulation of forex without investing in, in other opportunities incurs a significant opportunity cost of forecast for India. Second, the government has recently banned imports of pet coke emerged from certain ex ex exemptions on account of one is not correct. Second is correct, rising pollution level in major cities. So government can now cut it. Banned import, uh, imports of pet coke because it's rising uh, pollution levels in major cities. But one and three are not correct. The, the one is Diversion of pet coke of non industrial purpose, not correct. Indiscriminate use of pet coke by cement companies, not correct. Only two is the correct. So, here the background as, as, far as the world's largest consumer of pet coke, India imports over half of half its annual pet coke consumption. Oh, 27 million tons uh, okay world uh, lar world's largest consumer of pet coke india imports over half of, half of its annual pet coke consumption about about 27 million tons 
mainly from US. Local producers include Indian oil crop, Reliance Industries and Bharat Petroleum crop. India is the world's biggest consumer of, petro of petroleum coke, which is the dark solid carbon material that emits 11% more greenhouse gas than coal. According to the uh, Carnegie, Carnegie Singhwa, Singhwa Center for Global Policy, okay, statement one such diversion is, is seen in the case of urea, not pet coke. So diversion of pet coke for non-industrial purposes is seen in the uh, in mainly urea in the case of urea not pet coke case imports of pet coke second so imports of pet coke is now allowed for only cement lime kale, kale calcium car carbide and gasification industry is used when used as if uh, feed stock or in the manufacturing process on actual user condition cement companies which account for about three fourths of the companies pet coke use Were, were impacted were impacted by pet coke related policy uh, flip flop flops which began with this Supreme Court judgment banning use of the fuel in a around in, in and around New Delhi New Delhi last year usage of pet coke uh, a dart here alternative uh, to coal in the uh, energy hungry country so usage of pet coke is a dart here alternative to coal and India is an energy hungry country because there is rising security due to rising pollution is the important things so in the major cities so India imports of pet coke have declined this year as cement companies substituted some of their pet coke with coal to avoid trade production delay due to pollution related policy changes To consider the following statements, the directive principles can lead to a constitutional conflict between the president and the parliament because of president not to not obliged to sign an ordinary law sent by the parliament. So consider the following statements. The directive principles can lead to a constitutional conflict between between the president and the parliament. So, uh, lead to constitutional conflict the, between the president and the parliament because the president is not, but to not obliged to sign an ordinary law. Because president do not oblige to uh, sign an ordinary law sent by the parliament. Okay, which violates the directive principles. So here it is the important things. So it is a constitutional conflict between the president and parliament. The president is not obliged to sign an ordinary law signed by the parliament, which violates the directive principles. But a second are not correct. Center in states and the states if the latter tries to implement directive principles by executive schemes and programs become because States cannot implement directive principles. So it is not correct. And then states, if the latter tries to implement directive principles, there is executive scheme and programs because states cannot implement directive principles. So one is the correct. So statement to many, if it's, uh, if it's a statement to many states implement directive principles for, for uh, that is of if he gives in the unemployment allowance to the youth disturbance financial support for the old aged and widows several schemes so second is wrong K. Santhanan has pointed out that the directive can lead directives can lead to a constitution conflict also between the president and the father and the prime minister between the governor and the state minister when the prime minister get a bill which violates the directive principle passed by the parliament. The president may reject uh, the bill on the ground that, that these principles are fundamental to the governance of the country and hence 
the minister has no right to ignore them. In the same cultural conflict, it may occur between the governor and the chief minister of the state level. For which of the following are related to the Milan Milankovic oscillations award? So Milan Milankovic oscillation of the earth, so shape of the earth, earth or earth's orbit around the sun, it's correct. So and glaciation cycle of the earth. So both are correct. Milanko bridge oscillation of earth. It is shape of the earth orbit around the sun. And glaciation cycle on earth. So both statement both are correct. So Milanko bridge cycle occurs in three phases. Very Here more elliptical, less elliptical it is. Here you can see in the sun also here come uh, and here is center point sun. Here is orbit, periodic, periodic periodicity, one lakh time years, efficient eccentric city. So here in Milan Kovic cycles occur in three phases. The first of the three first of the three Milan Kovic cycles in the Earth's electricity. Eccentricity. Eccentricity is simply the shape of the earth and orbit around the sun. This is the constantly fluctuating, fluctuating orbit shape ranges between more and less elliptical due to high mass and elliptical electricity. On a cycle of about one leg like years, the this oscillation from more elliptic, elliptic or to less elliptic, the prime importance of to glaciers and that it alter and the distance. The suns to the earth, others changing the distance from the, the sun sort of have radiation. Striving to the, the, the episodic, episodic nature of the earth's glaciers and an integral glaciers in period within the present, uh, present ice age have been caused primarily by uh, cyclic cyclical changes in the earth's circumnavigation of the, uh, of the sun. Has some variation of the Earth's eccentricity, axial tilt, and phase precession uh, comprises the three dominant cycles, characterized known as Milankovitch cycles. For Milutin, Milankovitch, the, the Serbian astronomer and, and mathematician who is generally credited with calculating their magnitude, taken in uh, unison variations. In these three cycles, celebrate alter alterations of the seasonally of solar radiation reaching to the Earth's surface. These times increase the increase or decrease solar radiation directly reaching to the Earth's surface. These times increase and decrease solar radiation directly increase the Earth's climate system. Thus, impact advance of the, of the and retreat of the Earth's glaciers. And so here you can see an excess tilt. Periodic, periodicity 41,000 equator x is it is x is equator 21.5 here radiation here and equator it is the third and the final millennial cycle of in h earth for the sun precession precession is earth's low uh, wobble as it spins on axis the wobbling of the earth on its axis can be likened it to a top running down the, the precision of the earth <coughs> earth obels from pointing of at polars polar is the auto pointing at the star vega and this shift to the axis point of vega curves so here is periodicity and it is winter time summer uh, here is summer here is winter here is summer now and winter here, summer here, here winter, here is summer, here winter, here winter, here summer, and here is summer, here winter, here is summer, here winter. So here we change the situation. We it is please seen in city books. Answer the following statements about the trade is receivables discounting system trades. A primary objective of the trades is to increase access to the fresh source of funding for the MSME from domestic and foreign corporate 
it's not correct where school will facilitate a market e marketing for msme products in india and abroad by improving the supply chain of the last mile product risk management not correct msme so break down in the answer just reason msme despite despite the important role played by them in the economic fabric of the country continue to face constraints in obtaining adequate finance particularly in terms of the ability to convert their trade receivables into liquid funds so it is important role played by the by them in the economic fabric of the country continue to face constraints in obtaining adequate and it's particularly in terms of the ability to convert the trade receivables into liquid funds. In order, in order to address this pan India issue, in the, though setting up an industrial mechanism for financing trade receivables, the Reserve Bank of India had published a concept a paper on micro, small, and medium enterprise MSME factoring trade receivables exchange in March 2015. The scheme is also for setting up and or, uh, operating. A institutional mechanisms for facilitating the financing trade re receivables of MSME. The pump corporate buyers through multiple finance will be known as trade re receivables discounting system. The objectives of the trades is to facilitate, facilitate financing of invoices, bills of MSME. It's MSME uh, down on corporate buyers by way of discounting by finance. Uh, financiers the trade will facilitate at the discounting of both the invoices as well as the bills of exchange further as the underlying entities are the same msme and corporate buyers the trades who deal with the both receivables factories factoring as well as reverse factoring so that the higher transactions volume volumes can enter the system and facilitate in better pulp pricing so, but the objective of the trade is facilitating in uh, facilitated financing of invoices, bills of MSME drawn on corporate buyers by the way of discounting by finance financiers. Trade will facilitate the discounting both invoices as well as the exchange further as the underlying entities are the same MSME and corporate buyers. The trades could deal with <coughs> both receivables, factories, factoring as well as reverse factoring so that should higher transaction volumes come into the system and facilitate in better pricing which of the following is considered the absolute majority corrupt by the ideological of pacifism ideology of pacifism any form of coercion or violence violence to achieve good ends it's not correct rising raising and maintaining armed forces on one soil raising and maintaining armed forces in all on one soil it's not correct so both are not correct so pacific and pacific in the preaches opposition of war of or violation as means of starting of dispute but it covers spectrum of views ranging from reference of diplomatic diplomacy in resolving every international dispute to resolve opposition to violence to use of violence or for even force in the any circumstances so both one and two are wrong so prince pacifism may be based on principle of or pragmatism so here do and devils of informed terms of destroy people to who seeks to avoid war so here you can see next question consider the following statements so the second is correct in the Goloknath case in the, that in that the case of the Supreme Court rule the parliament cannot take away or abridge any of the fundamental rights. In the Goloknath case in 1967 the Supreme Court ruled that the parliament cannot take parliament cannot take away or abridge any of the fundamental rights even for the implementation of the treaty principle which is sacrosanct in nature. In the Champakaram Champakam the Durai Ranjan Rajan case, nineteen fifty one, the Supreme Court ruled that the in case of any conflict between the fundamental rights and directive principles, the letter would be fatal. So one is not correct. This here in the Champagram case, the Supreme Court, Supreme Court ruled that the uh, that in case of any conflict between the fundamental rights and directive principles, 
the latter would be free will not correct it is and Kurukuru Agulus not case the Supreme Court ruled that Parliament cannot take any away take away or average any of the fundamental rights uh, even for implied subjects means which are sacred sanct in nature so to uh, when the only correct so in the Champakaram's case in the Champakaram Champakam Dryanjan case 1931 the Supreme Court ruled that ruled Rule, rule in the uh, that in the in case of conflict between fundamental rights and direct appeal, so the former uh, former would prevail. It, uh, it declared that the defense will have to confirm to and run as subsidiary to the fundamental rights. And statement three. The, in the case of the case, 1973, the Supreme Court, in the Supreme Court. Declared 1973 uh, hearing and CD Chambakaram case 1951. And here Gulagnath case 1967. And Kesavandhu case 1973. So the Supreme Court declared the particular provision of the Article 31c as unconstitutional and invalid on the ground that a judicial review as a, is a basic feature of the constitution and hence cannot be taken as statement for it in the landmark judgment the, the judgment the supreme court declared that the rights of citizens to move the court uh, for violation of article 14 21 and 22 would remain suspended during the emergencies so which of the following not type uh, not is not typical west of western version of secularism so here you do uh, four D is the correct, not typical question. So here he, uh, others are correct. The others are uh, questions for some of secularism, but it is the state does not uh, stop any kind of discriminated discriminate, uh, discrimination method by the member of a relig religious community to other citizens of the state. It's not correct. So not uh, typical. It is a question for some of secularism. But others are Western, like the state does not usually aid any religious institution. The state does not hinder uh, the activities of religious communities as long as they are within the broad limits set by the law of the land. No policy of the state we can have an, an, have an extremely exclusive religious personnel. So, uh, this is the correct. Okay. So, thank you. Next, we discuss other questions. Thank you.